If you're watching this video, be sure to subscribe. What's going on everybody? It is Monday, August 16th here. Getting late, almost 8 o'clock. Gonna keep this short. Out here planting my food plots tonight. Calling for rain overnight, calling for rain tomorrow. Gonna get them in before it rains here. Quick, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm running the Domain Outdoors Showstopper and Hot Chick. Gonna mix them together. Uh, well, not mix them together. I'm gonna put, you know, half of one in the food plot and half of the other in. So it's like a full container in one food plot. I'm gonna go over to my next food plot and do that one it's the same way. I'm gonna get started, I'm getting dark, soon gonna rain. I'll go ahead and time lapse you guys as long as it doesn't rain here and show you the, how I get it in. All right, first load of hot chicks in here. Uh, I went a little heavy with this stuff in this field. This is the field I'm primarily focusing on. Once we get to the other field, you'll see why. It just didn't turn out good the way I wanted it to this year. So I'm gonna focus mainly on this field because it looks the best. So we're gonna dump a little bit more than the half of each container in here. And we're going to get to spreading. Alright, so hot chicks gone. Uh, we got that done. Saved a little bit for next food plot. Got the showstopper. Going to put that in next. What I did with the hot chick was I went light in areas that I can't really shoot to, but I still want to feed. And then heavy in the areas that I really want to focus on the deer being at for those 20 to 30 yard shots. So. In the middle, it's pretty heavy. Towards the end, and this far end, I went a little lighter. I'm gonna probably do the same thing with the showstopper. Maybe try and do that a little bit more evenly. But let's get that dumped in and see how it goes. Went through the showstopper seat a little bit quicker than I expected to. I didn't really get to cover uh, this top part too much. Covered it about the middle, but didn't get that far corner, which. It's fine because, like I said, I'm not hunting that area. I'm hunting right here behind me along this tree line where my tree stand is. So really got a good amount in there. All right, so we got that first one seeded. I'm not going to film me planting this one. going to get it in here quick. I just didn't get a chance to spray and or till this just because of how wet it got. I couldn't get any machines in or even mow it for that matter. It's so wet, so... There's a little bit of a dry spot, a little bit of a more dirt spot down towards the bottom, which is where my tree stands are anyway. So I'm going to plant that heavy, probably not even plant this, just plant right in front of that tree stand that I have uh, the double set and the corner stand. So I'm going to go ahead and get done with that. Tomorrow, Brett and I are planning on hanging a new, hanging a new stand we didn't get to last time, and we are planning on moving another stand that we hung last year to a uh, couple hundred yards from where it is now on his farm so stay tuned for that and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow what's going on everybody it's Tuesday August 17th out here with Brett he's making us bushwhack through the yeah. Amazon jungle yeah. to try and get this new stand hung uh, we're at the first location this is right where Brett killed his buck right up here behind us he's got a new stand location back here behind us we got to go down into this little gully across the stream uh, we carried the top part of the stand over so far we had to make two trips because, like I said, we're going through the Amazon jungle. It's that thick. We couldn't carry everything. Moving the Tacticam that he's got on this property. Wearing it as a fanny pack right now till we get it up over there. But look promising. He walked a trail. I walked a trail. So kind of where both of those collide, that's where we're putting a stand. And hopefully that'll be where they're walking during bow season. But we're going to get the rest of this stuff up to the stand, and we'll see you guys there. All right, made it up here. Got the two other ladder pieces and the tree arm. Brett's putting those together right now. Probably could use my help. I'll help him in a second here. This is the tree we're gonna go up in right here. This is the path running this way. The deer are walking on. There's a couple other paths that run up and down. And then there's definitely a really hard one right underneath below him here. So we're gonna get the tree stand put together and put up. All right guys, just got the stand hung like you guys saw right here in the back. We got our Tacticam right there for now, hopefully. See how it does there. If we don't like it, we can move it. But Brett, what do you think? I like it. I mean, the reason I put it up here, last year was my first year hunting it, so I got a lot of scouting opportunities. 
almost every deer I've seen came from the left to right here. I'm in between four fields, and this was timber. We found like the one main trail that runs into here and kind of got a little, little bit off. But I'm glad I got Rem because he's like a he can climb these trees like nothing. And I don't like heights too much, but I like it. All right, guys, I'm just going to do a little pan here. Rem just handed me the camera. As you can see, it is extremely, extremely thick behind me, but obviously as the season comes on, and fall comes on, the leaves start dropping. It's not going to be quite as bad, but you can see right here is what I'm looking at. The main trail up here is another bed, and there's a water source that I'm going to pan over right through there. And then again, down through here, I got the trail. And then down here, I got some fields where I killed my buck last year. Actually, I killed that buck right up in that hole up there. But I was down in the, in the stand. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a better look. All right, guys, so we are gonna wrap up the night. Um, we were planning on moving one of Brett's stands that we put up last year, but time restraints with me getting off work pretty late, not gonna have a chance to do that tonight, but we're gonna try and hit that either later in the week or this weekend, most likely and uh, get that done and that'll pretty much be our stand prep for the season you know we got a month and a half left so that gives us plenty of time here but yeah we're gonna knock a couple weeds down in front of the cameras knock a couple weeds down in our trails to get up here and call it a night and we'll see you guys when we're moving this other stand good afternoon guys we are out here me and rem we're hanging a new uh, tactic cam reveal i got rem here working the tree no lie it's probably about 80 85 degrees it's about 6 45 me and rem parked the truck and we came up here to find a new place to put a tree stand you guys can see we got beans right here and as soon as we were walking through right over the edge here we'll show you a little bit i saw a really really big buck um out past his ears probably hit 10 12 point and then we kept walking right up here and we kicked out two other very easily legal buck maybe one of those were shooters the other one probably was a year and a half two year old but i got rem here he's cleaning up some sticks for me we got to take the camera right here on this tree and my idea behind this is if you look right here guys the tops of these beans are getting smoked we just saw seven or eight deer out here and it's like i said hot what do you think Rem? should be good like you said we saw these deer um we know they're coming out of these woods from behind us, coming up here. I just pointed out to him that a lot of these trees on this row here are all oaks too. So coming here in the next couple of weeks, they're going to be dropping acorns. So they're going to have acorns and beans with their bedding down there. So it's a perfect transition site from bedding to food for them. So hopefully we'll get a lot of pictures, give some good insight, and then we're going to get this stand moved today yet. And you know, give Brad a good chance of killing a big buck here, I think. I should have left those. No. Yeah, I could have used them as steps. Oh. Because here, watch this. You can probably get your foot up in that crotch. Call me Spike. There you go. There you got her. Look at those fellas. You got your saw? Should be there. Yep. You shouldn't be above this one. Well, it's going to be close. It's a shooting rail. Well, I'm saying to put it up. Oh, no, you'll be good there. I think we'll be good if I leave this one. I yeah, if you just down. want to cut the ones below it. I can cut it down once I get up. Yep, I agree.
All right, guys, so got this stand hung finally. Um, I picked the location, so we'll see. Brett was a little iffy. If you can't tell, the tree is a little small, but I think it's sturdy enough. Uh, we got a good lane into this bowl where they're coming up out of. We got a good lane into this field and this trail and a good lane down and below um, in between the two little humps. So I think it's a really good spot. I'm hoping Brett kills so he can give me a little credit for it. But that's pretty much gonna conclude our season prep here for archery season. We got just over a month left until season starts here. So we're gonna try and stay out of the woods as much as possible. We, you know, we got two tree stands hung for Brett, two for me, and moved this third one for Brett. and got that trail cam put up today. I know I moved some of my trail cameras a couple weeks ago in anticipation for the season. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up our uh, season prep. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll be able to put all this together. All this work will come together and give us some opportunities at shooting some deer out of these stands. So stay tuned for some of those videos and we'll see you guys in the next one.